I think it's super appropriate that our modern day explorers achieved such a huge feat just yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you've all seen the videos, and if you haven't, go to whatever social media platform you use and find them and watch them. Um, but, uh, you know, SpaceX yesterday achieved this amazing feat of catching the booster. The booster uh, of the rocket came down after it detached from, from uh, the, the, the main portion of the spaceship. It came down at an unbelievable speed, right? And then uh, it had its own little, what is it, firing things that slowed it down, stabilized it, and dropped it down, not on the ground. It never touched the ground. Dropped it down just to the right spot, adjacent to this tower, where, what do they call it, chopsticks? Where this arm came out and clamped it and caught it. I mean, this is one of the greatest engineering achievements ever. It is stunning in terms of the accuracy uh, 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 of the whole process, the fact that we can do any of this stuff, the fact that SpaceX can do any of this stuff, it was truly phenomenal, amazing, stunning. And, and by the way, something that Elon Musk just a few years ago predicted SpaceX would be able to do, and people laughed at him. People laughed at him. Right? So how appropriate is it that uh, the day before Columbus Day a modern-day Columbus, a man who wants to take us to Mars, wants to explore the planets, a modern-day explorer, a modern-day uh, company that wants to expand the human scope of knowledge, take us to the planets, uh, expand human civilization, achieves uh, such a feat. Now, note, th the booster is 71 meters high, 233 feet it's the equivalent of taking a 15-story building, crashing towards Earth, managing to slow its descent, controlling that descent so that the angle is exactly right, lowering it to exact point where you want it, stopping it so that an arm can come out and clamp it and catch it. It's, I don't know, it's stunning. I mean, it's much more likely this would drop down as a missile, destroy the tower and the pad. <laughs> so you watch this thing, and you have to watch it from a variety of different angles to get just the, the, whole, the whole wonder of it, from, the, from, from its descending from the sky at incredible speeds to its slowing down straightening itself up and doing this. And the little firing of, of I, what do you call those, uh, the, the firing of the whatever, in order to make, make this uh, drop. It, it's, it's stunning. So you, you should watch it um, over and over again uh, and, and marvel. This is the equivalent of crossing the Atlantic. I mean, it's, it, it's not as risky in a sense of people's lives are not at stake here. But it's as exciting and as dramatic of an engineering and human achievement as that was, right? Ooh, ooh. Retro rockets, retro rockets, thrusters, retro rocket thrusters, thrusters. I mean, truly amazing. Anyway, so SpaceX has already reduced the cost of putting up a ton of stuff into space by over 90 percent, over 90 percent. Um, with this, now you have a reusable spacecraft. Take off, all the parts can come down, new, you know, space thing put on top, send out into space within hours. Um, the idea is that you might be able to drop the cost of taking stuff into space by another 90%. And, and that is just 
just stunning. And look, this is a massive engineering feat. In terms of the nitty gritty of the engineering, I don't know that Elon Musk had any anything to do with it. But at least according to how it's reported, this whole way of landing it is an Elon Musk idea. The idea that it's possible is Elon Musk. The challenge to the engineers is Elon Musk. The audacity, the, 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 the you know, just the, the, the ability to project a, a, a big goal like that and to challenge his engineers with such a thing is all Elon Musk. I mean, Elon is, when it comes to this stuff, without a question, one of the great business leaders in American history, ever. I mean, setting audacious goals, bringing teams together, and setting audacious goals that are audacious and ridiculous and stunning, and, but are doable. And then putting the teams together to make them happen. Get it done. Uh, just truly stunning. And um, if this is all Elon Musk ever did, with SpaceX, he, you know, he would go down as one of the great entrepreneurs, business leaders um, in all of human history. But of course, he also does devils in half a dozen other companies, right? One of them, at least, probably to his detriment, but, but most of them uh, really uh, for the positive. Um, so, yeah, this is, this is truly amazing. It'll be a huge achievement. Um, you know, some people are saying it's the biggest leap forward in space flight since the 1960s. I don't know enough about space flight to tell you that, but um, it, it, it was necessary in order to lower the cost down another 90%. Lowering the cost down another 90% is a necessary, not sufficient, but necessary step toward getting man to Mars. So uh, if Columbus got man to the Western Hemisphere, uh, it is Elon Musk who will be remembered. There will be an Elon Musk day as the man who made it possible to get, to get man uh, to, uh, uh, to, to Mars. So um, stunning, stunning, stunning achievement. I encourage everybody to look at it. Uh, I wish this was all there was to say about Elon Musk, but, but sadly, it never is. Um, now... To um, celebrate this, to congratulate Elon Musk on this, the California Coastal Commission. California Co Coastal Commission is one of the most fascist government entities in America today. We'll have to do, we'll have to cover it in a show in more detail one of these days. But the California Coastal Commission has unbelievable power over California generally, over land use, over property rights unelected, um, just little fascist, was founded by a guy who was arguably uh, a, a real fascist. Um, and um, anyway, they voted uh, six to four uh, just, just a few days ago uh, to reject SpaceX's proposal to increase Falcon 9 launches from 36 to 50 at the Vandenberg Space Force Base. I guess... The California Coastal Commission has a say on how many launches SpaceX does because they do it on the coast? I don't know. But because it has, quote, environmental consequences, it has, because the California Coastal Commission is a fascist, power-grabbing, all-encompassing, agency that just devours power and, uh, you know, will inject itself into any dispute and conflict out there that it can. And it has authority, it turns out. Now, so they won't allow SpaceX to expand. Another reason why Elon Musk companies are fast moving out of California, leaving California. It is absolutely disgusting. But what's absolutely unequivocally, shockingly, even more disgusting than the sheer fact that they have the power to do this and they chose to do it, is the reason they gave. The reason was not 
I don't know, save the whales, the porpoises might die, a snail might be destroyed. Because at least then you could say, okay, they have some standard, which is, I don't know, life on planet Earth. <laughs> no. The standard was that they don't like Elon Musk's political activities, particularly on X. So they don't like the political stance he's taking. They don't like the fact that he's supporting Trump. They don't like the fact that he runs X the way he does and says the things that he says on X, and they're punishing his speech. Notice, government entity, punishing his speech with uh, increased regulations. Now, this is a, in my view, a pure case of violation of the First Amendment. This, this is censorship. This is exactly what censorship means. This is penalizing a business for what it says, for what its leader says, in, on another business platform. Um, Suppose the Elon Musk sued today over this. I hope he did. You never know with Elon. Um, he's quick to say he sues, but it doesn't always happen. I hope he does. I hope he's suing on First Amendment grounds. I think he has a really good case. Now, I'm sure they have cover and they've got other reasons why they won't let him launch uh, the rockets. But the fact that they would include this is so disturbing, so disgusting that, you know, they should be sued. They actually uh, should be uh, put in uh, jail. Where did I, what's my source for the statement? Huh. I'm going to have to, I'd have to Google it again. I, um, I saw it first on, um, I saw it first on Twitter, where I get most of my news these days. And then I, then I cross-referenced it. And I found, I think, the statement from the um, California Coastal Commission. Um, but um, let's see if I can. Uh, uh, ta -ta so, so far, Elon has threatened. He hasn't actually filed yet. Um, yeah, let's see. If it, here's a political story. Uh, the title of the story, and we, we can get in, we can... California officials cite Elon Musk's politics in rejecting SpaceX launch. I mean, you'd think they'd be smart enough, even if, they, even if this was the reason they stopped him, you'd think they'd be smart enough not to actually say so. Um... So, you know, they, 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 you know, you know, uh, um, you know they, they give this, um, uh, you know, Department of the Air Force, so uh, this is the Coastal Committee, unwaving commitment to preserving the California coastline and the precious species that reside there. So they give the, the regular environmentalist BS, but it does sound like they make a statement. I'm looking for the exact statement um, in terms of his politics. Uh, now, you know, we'll see if he actually sues um, and uh, whether, um, you know, how that plays out. Um, I mean, here's, the, here's a quote from the commissioner, commission chair, Carolyn Hart. I really appreciate the work of the Space Force. This is part of what uh, SpaceX does because they're working with the Department of Defense there. But here we're dealing with a company, the head of which has aggressively injected himself into the presidential race. And he's managed the company in a way that was just described by Commissioner Newsom, Newsom is one of the commissioners, that I find to be very disturbing. Um, anyway, you can find, I'm sure, you, you know, you can fact check me and let me know if, uh, if I got the story wrong in some way.